Hello everybody and what I'm going to be doing now in this video is actually giving you more history of the star seed. Um, I just recently did a video called Deities versus Gods and I basically broke down also about the star seeds. Um, so let's just get right into it. The star seeds are actually the gods. The star seeds are gods gods and goddesses that were actually infected by the parasite you have to watch the other video to know exactly what i'm referring to what i'm talking about to be caught up in this deep 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 thing um if this is for you this will be for you if it's not then it's not um our ancestors our ancestors our star seeds once the battle began and they was tricked by the deities, they ended up coming here and repeating a cycle over and over and over. This is the realm of illusion. They call it Maya. They actually had help from paras parasitic beings. Parasitic beings I call other races, not this one. They had help with crushing the gods and goddesses. And as we see, we see through our history for our slavery and things like that, we see where they ended up. And what happens, you guys, when you are farther and farther away from your cosmic home, you lose your memory. And your memory is the connection. When you lose the address, let's say, of your cosmic home you have no direction of how to return you begin to say that this is my home i want to stay here i want to be an immortal here and you start forgetting that you don't belong here this is not your home a star seed belongs above not below your feet is not supposed to be touching the ground you're supposed to be flying faster than any vulture, than any eagle. You move faster than light. And at a slower speed, you'll be fast as light. You know, you are a star, you are light. And this ongoing battle is for your light. And your ancestors went through that battle. And they fought many wars that perceived themselves as just mental. But I'm sure if you commune with them on a deeper level, they'll tell you that it got way more than mental. The things that they endured, the things that they went through with those parasites that was disguised in other races and other colors. You couldn't tell your ancestors that it wasn't a battle going on every day. I used to sit here, you guys, and sometimes I used to say, I don't understand how they was able to smile the next day. How can something so evil take your smile away? Let alone freedom, but take that literally takes your smile away. They tell you to look downwards, not at them. That's taking your light away. And as you look down, not at them, their energy, more than energy vampires, they're taking from you their parasites. But what our ancestors didn't know is they was envious of that light because they don't feel that light. And what is that light? That light is love. Parasites. Aliens don't feel anything. They want that light to create. They need that light to create. And you are the star seed. You are that light. You comprise that light. You are the one that was in the beginning. You. You read that verse, you remember you in the beginning. Now, there was always a supreme being, a uno, solo, dolo, who created the stars. But you are the original. 
This video is about you. This is your history. This is about your so-called family, the real family, your ancestors are fellow star seeds who have traversed many things and they're trying to assist you through this battle from the other side. That veil is never closed. Let's say something like that. That's something else the parasitic kings and queens want you to think that the veil is closed and your ancestors is so far away. That's not true. They assist you in this fight. It's just hard. They have so many obstacles over there. So many. Just like you have been stripped here, they have been stripped there. It is not an easy fight, but they do it. They do it. And what happened, I'll just give a brief synopsis of what I said in the other video. The Supreme Bang decided that he slash she, whether we know it's not a he or she, it is supreme light, full consciousness, higher than anything, decided that it needed assistance. So therefore you was created. You was created to assist in these augmented worlds. Some of you was guards, watchers, warriors, builders, all that stuff. All sorts of creative, creativeness inside of you. And what happened was instead of, instead of it just being your creation, because the Supreme let you create, you decided to mingle inside. And once you decided to mingle inside, what is below the parasite in the form of other races? But th at this time, it was nothing but a bacteria form. So the celestial God got infected. And when the celestial God got infected, he had other beings, other celestial gods, other star seeds there that, be that became entrapped in that same system, in that same world. And their light started to dissipate. And as their light started to dissipate, they knew that that was the form of the creation. And from that being the form of the creation, they needed to build that light over again. So what did they need? What did they decide to do? They decided to overthrow the Supreme Being. And once they overthrew the Supreme Being, the Supreme Being was the one that was protecting all of them. And once they overthrew the Supreme Being, the parasitic rose higher. They started making deals with this parasitic being. But before they made deals with the parasitic being, they decided to use and create deities to help them and assist them to build in the light. But what happened was the deities did not come in the same form as the gods and goddesses. So betrayal start. They started working, working a little bit harder with the parasites. The deities started. And then they overthrew what? The gods and goddesses. And convince them and trick them to come to places like this where they lose their memory. And let's fast forward to slavery times. And by the time they got in those forms and those bodies, they had no memory of a celestial home. They always pictured themselves no further than Kemet. Never in the stars. That's as furthest as they went. They didn't see themselves fly. They saw magic here, magic there, you know. Some of that science was kept away from them, but it was theirs. It was siphoned from the parasites and others. So they, our fellow ancestors, was on the ground battling something that they didn't even remember was created. They may thought that it was just something, some type of mental thing that they was just facing, but it was very physical. They thought they was fighting just a man or fighting a woman, but no, look inside and you'll see that swirl of black. But now they will tell you since they're out of those bodies and in, in etheric form of what they really are, 
and I'm just one that's speaking the message, but I'm pretty sure some of this thing that I'm saying to you is not the first time. This, this is not the first time you've heard stuff like this. Now it might be deeper than some of the stuff you've heard too. You know, it might fly over your head, but if it's meant for you, it is meant for you. Your ancestors have traversed so many things. You have no clue. You couldn't even fathom some of that stuff. And then you'll hear go around here that there was never any slavery. There was never this. You know what that is? That's the parasite trying to erase their history, trying to erase those star seeds that fought harder than anybody. Them. If they did not survive, you would not be in this vessel. You would float off in the cosmos because you wouldn't have enough light. It is an ongoing battle. And the only reason why you're here, you're here to build your light up and to ascend. That is your purpose. That is your mission. And yes, we got to do things a little bit hard, a little bit um, better than someone else. We got to work a little bit harder. We got to traverse certain things. And it is not fair. Because things, whether you believe it or not, is supposed to flow for you. It's supposed to be easy. <gasps> Did you know that? It's supposed to be easy. You're actually, guess what? Supposed to be happy. <gasps> when? <laughs> I know we face that, right? Like, when am I supposed to be happy? Because um, I'm always stressed, you know? But you are. And it's a battle for your life. And that's why you're not happy. Do you know some of your habits was placed on you from that parasitic being, from those parasitic beings that walk in different forms around you? They play off your fears. What was told to me, you know, and what I gathered through whew, going through a regression is that a lot of our fears comes from those ancient times, comes from those times um, when we were the ancestors in those forms and things like that. And they used fear tactics on us and we didn't let that stuff go and we traveled with it through this DNA. And when you think that, why do I have this weird phobia? Why am I afraid of this? Why am I afraid of that? It's because of that time. And not only that, there are beings that step out of those portals in etheric form that perpetuates, that heightens that fear because they know who you are. You are star seed. And the only thing that they can use is so-called friendly war games because you're just that powerful. They won't face you head on. They hide in the shadows and try to scare you. They try to scare you with monetary stuff like, what if you don't pay this bill? They're going to take this. What if you don't do this? They're going to do this. This is going to happen to me. What if this? What if that? But sometimes if we just slow down a little bit, half of the things that they kind of perpetuate on our minds never really happens. But they don't want to give us time to breathe or to think. They cloud our mind with so much junk. It's ridiculous. Half of that stuff we don't even need. And they call it what? Entertainment. No, sometimes we're their entertainment. And we shouldn't be. But in a, in a form, it's not our fault because sometimes we don't remember who we are. It's been so long since we have even glanced upon our celestial home, our cosmic home. Our feet, they tell us that we're supposed to be grounded. Do you even think about that stuff? Grounded? I'm not supposed to be grounded. If anything, I'm supposed to be flying and floating. I'm not supposed to be on anybody's ground. I'm supposed to be flying in the cosmos along with my fellow stars, not on the ground. You stay grounded, parasite, not me. How can I ever get home if I'm grounded, if I'm here? I can't. And that's the purpose. 
There's so many things to try to keep you here. You want to save this place. You want to be immortal here. You want to live here forever. No. If you stay here forever, you'll never ascend to your proper home, to the place where there is no pain. There is no games. There is no sorrow. There is no heartache. There is no sickness. There is no death. There, that is a place where no one can take anything from you. Why wouldn't you want to be there? Why would they hide that from you? I know why. Because they sit on your throne. And your home. They guard your door and push you back into this loop. They give you reasons why you need to constantly return here. And some of those reasons are lies. And you have agreed. Well, I'm telling you now, do not agree to come back here. Do not agree to come back here. Hear me, my fellow star seeds. This is not a place where you belong. You belong higher. Your home is far beyond any parasitic being. They linger on the outside and claim it as their own. But you get to walk in, not out. It is your home. It is your right. Do not let them steal what's yours or your legacy.